Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Helmets of the World. I'm Mike B, and today we're going to be looking at the German Model 1917 Stahlhelm. So, as you can tell from the outside, it's identical, as far as the shell is concerned, to the Model 1916 helmet. Uh, 1917, all they really did was modify the liner. These things were in full production starting at the, well, technically the end of 1915, this particular design for the shell. And uh, if you haven't seen the video on the M1916 Stahlhelm, I'll put a link to that in the description. You can go check that out, and then you'll be able to tell the actual difference in the liner. Um, but for this video, we're going to be focusing on the Model 1917. What's cool about this is, uh, like I said, the shells are the same, so if you want to make either model, you can get an M16 shell, and it's correct for both models. So uh, we'll kind of take a little bit closer look at the actual shell here. And you can see that, yeah, it's identical. The the rolled edge, the big lug sticking out, the chin strap lug um, rivet that sticks through the shell. The skirt is the same shape and everything. Uh, the paint job. You can see the rivet's a little bit different color. That's because I painted the shell before I actually got the uh, liner set. Um, you can see detail. This one's a little bit more beat up. This particular shell was a, uh, well, it looks like a battlefield pickup. Uh, it wasn't in terrible shape, but it's got a couple little rust holes in the top, and it was really pitted badly. Um, if you can see from the shell, it's kind of textured, but overall it's in uh, fair condition and it's a great example to have on display. You can see the really prominently rolled edge. Uh, we'll get to the inside, why it's like that in a little bit, but it's very even. Uh, Repros cannot even come close to getting that sort of quality, that little bead on the outside of the shell, uh, which is a really easy way to tell them apart. Now we're going to take a look at the liner system and a little bit closer look at the uh, inside of the shell. You can see it's just the standard European three pad leather system with the drawstring. Uh, if you look at this chin strap, it's pretty interesting. Usually they'd be made out of leather, but this is what's called an Erzatz chin strap or a um, makeshift or improvised. It's just to save material because leather was in dire, dire demand in the First World War. Um, so they decided to supplement their equipment with canvas and other easily accessible renewable resources. Uh, you can see that the post mounts the same as the leather 1895 chin strap. And the difference between this and an M16 is actually that steel liner band. They found that the leather liner bands were, um, they are getting like water and mold in between the shell and the, the liner band, and they'd start rotting. Uh, you can see the pillow system is the same as an M16. You got the pillows, you can adjust kind of the way it fits with that. Uh, but yeah, the main difference is the steel band in place of the leather band to attach it to the helmet. So that's really the only difference. If you'd imagine it with a uh, leather chin strap, you wouldn't be able to tell it apart from the outside from an M16. Um, they started using the AirSat stuff early on in 1917 when they started running out of materials. Uh, here we're looking at the um, the way the, the edge is rolled. It's actually rolled under itself. So it's not rolled just once and you know flattened down, but it's rolled underneath itself. So it's a pretty much total seal, and that's why you get the bead on the outside. So you can see that... That's not the edge of the metal. That's just a rolled part, if you really look closely. So it's rolled twice. It's, it's folded over twice, if you can imagine that. And then you get that nice edge right there, and it seals it so you're not going to get any sharp edges or anything. Rust is really hard to form under there and stuff because it's a pretty good seal. So there's the overall view of the shell again. Um, we're kind of noticing the colors the same and everything. And then, yeah, here's the bead up close. That's what it looks like. So essentially this is the same as the M16, and uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. If you got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, become a supporter on Patreon so I can afford to restore things like this and make videos. Uh, the link to that's in the description. For all you guys uh, that are just watching, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more cool stuff. And again, become a supporter on Patreon. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's uh, really probably the most iconic design of the 20th century. Just got a different liner in it. So uh, hopefully someday I'll be able to get a Model 18. And thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.